Where's the system? Well, <laughs> look what happened yesterday. Uh, the Club for Growth, a uh, conservative group, anti-tax group, put out, announced that it was putting out a two-minute attack ad on him, and he hasn't even announced attacking him in Iowa. So right now, you've got attacks out on him, and basically silence um, from Beto. And I think uh, that might be okay if you're Joe Biden, and you've got 29% of the field mm -hmm. right now, but Beto doesn't quite have that stature in the party, and I think he is behaving as if he has a bit more stature than he has. That may not matter if he announces and all goes smoothly, but he, if he announces and there are some uh, sort of uh, freshman hiccups, um, I think that irritation that is being yes. expressed now to people like Jmart, uh, uh, people may not abide that. So I want to play that ad real quick and then mm -hmm. get to you, Rachel. Play the ad from Club for Growth, which was, you took notice of it. It's not subtle. Take a listen. Beto O'Rourke's image crafters say he's Barack Obama, but white. Youthful indiscretions or threads in a lifelong pattern revealing an indelible sense of entitlement. With a charmed life like his, you can never really lose. That's why Beto's running for president. Because he can. Yeah, I mean, and not declaring he's letting these more predominant voices, these Republicans, define him, right?